for a kite. Um, I'll just do that now. Okay, once you've logged into your account, you'll notice on the top left hand corner a tab My Accounts. If you click on that, and on the next screen, you will see a link go to cPanel. So click on that. If you see a security warning, just press continue. You may see the same box once again. And continue. The next screen is our cPanel. So this is the screen that we are um, concerned with. This is the one that holds all our settings on the back end of our hosting panel. If we scroll down until we see site improvement tools, and here you can here we can see our supercatcher feature. So if we click on that, and now we have three levels of catching available. There's level one static cache, level two dynamic cache, and level three mem cached. We want to ensure that all three levels are enabled so that the plugin will work to its full capacity. Um, how we do this is level one static cache. If we check that the toggle on this level should automatically be enabled, but just double check in the right hand corner that this is on and double check in the left hand corner that this is also the correct domain. Um, that we are wanting to enable the super cacher on. So if you had, um, say, several websites, they may all be listed down below. So ensure that you select the correct domain that you want to enable the super cacher on. Then uh, go up and click on level two dynamic cache. We want to do the same thing. Um, over to the right hand corner under manage application cache, just toggle little button to on. And lastly, it's the same on level three mem cached. Only difference is the toggle button is in the top right hand corner. And again, then just toggle from off to on. If we scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will notice Google page speed. Now the unfortunate thing is we're unable to um, toggle this feature to on due to the fact that it conflicts with uh, static cache and dynamic cache when enabled. Um, SiteGround gives a, a small notice here. Um, important, currently page speed cannot be used together with the static and or the dynamic cache options. If you switch page speed on, we will automatically switch off any other caching option that is currently active but is not compatible. So the main three that we're concerned with is level one, two, and three. Once they are all enabled, if you then head over to your dashboard of your WordPress, scroll down, click on plugins, add new. And we're looking for SG cache and press. Okay, so there it is, SG Cache Press. As you can see, I have the plugin installed and activated on my site, uh, Simplify the Web. So from here, if we scroll down on the left-hand side until we see Super Cacher. So we click on that, and you're going to find that most of these settings are all enabled um, already. Um, so we have Dynamic Cache, which is the same as we enabled in the cPanel. We also have auto flush cache, so automatically flush the dynamic cache when you edit your content. So this is enabled uh, purge cache, uh, purge all the data cached by the dynamic cache. Uh, what you will notice when you scroll down is the mem cached settings will not be enabled. So ensure that this is toggled until you get a little tick in the box. And that is all that you need to do with the WordPress plugin is simply install and double check that dynamic and auto flush cache are enabled and then scroll down and enable mem cached settings. 
Um, last but not least, if you ensure that you um, enable the settings in your cPanel first on your SiteGround account and then install the plugin. Double check that the correct uh, features, dynamic and auto flush, are enabled and then the same with memcached. That's all there is to enabling the supercatcher on um, WordPress. Then you could possibly then, this is probably going to be a good idea, is go over to GT Metrics and uh, check your page uh, load time prior to enabling the supercatcher and then check your page load time again after enabling the supercatcher um, for SiteGround. And you should notice that your page load speeds have increased, meaning that when someone requests your um, site or page within your site, it should appear in front of the user a lot faster than it did uh, prior to the installation of the Supercatcher plugin. So I hope you find this tutorial um, helpful. Uh, please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.